spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport, the thrill of victory, and the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. Brought to you by Lincoln Mercury. Nobody has four kinds of cars or four kinds of people. See them at the sign of the cat. By Goodyear, makers of the custom steel guard radial tire. And by State Farm Mutual. Almost anywhere you live, there's a State Farm agent nearby. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Um, I'm here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, doing some work. Uh, should be finished up today and getting my butt back down the road. Uh, back to my man cave. Joe Boo is ready to go home. He's sick of this big ass dog. This big, it's like Cujo. It's like Cujo up in here, although he's sweet. Okay. The only problem is he'll take you out at the knees. So we're sitting here Saturday, June 1st. And the Cowboys, of course, man, they, oh my goodness, the Cowboys. Money, 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 money. Money. The Cowboys got some money, some much needed money, and they moved up the ranking six spots to the 21st spot. And as we look at it, let's take a look right here. As we look at it right now, the list of cap space going on in the NFL, you see the New England Patriots up there with 46, the Commanders, after all the signings they did with 43. And I'd really like to know uh, who the capologist is for the Lions. The Lions have been making moves. They got Jared Goff taken care of. They took care of Penny School and everything else. They took care of the wide receivers. They've been paying everybody, and somehow they got $40 million. $40 million. Cardinals at 35. The Jaguars at 34. Raiders at 34. The Raiders. Uh, the Packers. Raiders that just signed, I believe, Michael Gallup. The Packers. And the freaking Eagles. I, I I don't know how he does it. I, I don't know how he must be bribing somebody to, to change the number somehow in the NFL. He, he's just got to. I don't know how they keep signing all these people. Oh, I know how it is. It's because they've got Jalen Hurts' contract kicked way, 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 way down the road. And if we're hearing reports that Kenny Pickett, Kenny, who's always been picked it, um, is out playing. In, although, listen, I preface it this. So I don't trigger Eagle fans, but it doesn't matter because y'all are triggered anyway. But Kenny Pickett, we hear, has been looking better than Jalen Hurts. Now, I get it. It's just OTAs, optional team activities. This isn't where the pads go on. But, you know, it's funny this morning because I was sitting here reading an article. This is not coming from Cowboy fans, you know. Not like, you know, all the Eagle fans that are out there counting interceptions in training camp of Dak Prescott like they did last year and then failed to at least give him credit for not doing them. No, this isn't like that. This was from an Eagles publication. And the funniest thing that I saw when I read it was uh, the gunslinger Jalen Hurts. I was like, gunslinger? Gunslinger? Jalen Hurts isn't a gunslinger. I'm I'm amazed at how things get just kind of thrown out there that have no coordination. Okay, Brett Favre, who has more interceptions than anybody in the history of the NFL, who would throw the ball up on a regular basis, that's what a gunslinger is. Okay, a guy who's got five TD passes and five playoff games, that's not a gunslinger. It's not a gunslinger. He is more of a uh, multi-tool quarterback, multi-tool quarterback slash bus driver. Oh, you, oh, you're you're getting mad now. Oh, you're getting mad now, aren't you? Oh, Eagle fans. Oh, don't don't be mad. 
Don't be mad. Please don't be mad. No, don't, don't, don't do that. Anyway, the Chargers at 26, the Colts at 26, the 40 Winers at 25, trying to get Brandon Ayuk under the uh, under a contract. The Tennessee, Tennessee Titans at 25, the Bears at 22, the Bengals at 21, the Texans at 19, the Dolphins at 18, the Steelers at 18, the Chiefs at 17, the Vikings at 16, the Browns at 13, 9, 8, 8, and here we are, Cowboys with 12 million three hundred and seventy seven now here's where it's interesting this doesn't seem like much money to you and me as far as the salary cap actually it is it's a lot of money it's 12.3 million dollars what i could do with 12.3 million dollars i could i would definitely have my madden cruiser and i would just literally just drive to every just, just i would just take the whole nfl season and i would just drive from game oh my god I think I just got my bucket list thing. I have my bucket list now. Get me an RV and spend the NFL season just going to every single Dallas Cowboys game and broadcasting. Tailgating and broadcasting every single game for a season oh my god that just gave me chills that just literally gave me chills now it might get kind of precarious when you got some of the winter games that you know it's like you got to go to buffalo in december or something like that you know and drive in an rv you know and in bad weather but could you imagine could you could you imagine spending a whole nfl season on the road in an RV from NFL City to NFL City for the whole season. That would be incredible. And broadcasting all of it, doing meetups in every single city and tailgates. Oh my God. That would definitely be a bucket list thing. So now the question is, the question is, you know, I, I, I like um, history and I like like movies, action movies and things like that. And, you know, um, even you can go back to the Revolutionary War. I believe it was John Paul Jones who's in his ship. OK, and he's fighting the British. Right. And he said, don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. That means you're getting really close, right? You're waiting and waiting and waiting because then your shots are more effective. You know, if you're lobbing shots and they're a long ways away, the cannonballs, half of them, are, no, probably 90% of them are missing. And by the time they get there, they don't have as much velocity. So you have to expel more and more ammunition to be as effective as if you're up close. If you're up close, and you can literally see the whites of their eyes, you fire that shot, it's definitely going to hit right smack dab and do the maximum amount of damage. You know, it's kind of like, I think it was the Wrath of Khan. You, you've got William Shatner up in there, and they're going, you know, at, at the Klingons, you know, Khan and everything else. And, and he's sitting there, and he's sitting there, Captain, we're in range, Captain, we're in range, Captain, we're in range, fire. And he waits to the last second because it's more effective. Now, maybe I am just a delusional, hopeful fan that just doesn't want to give up. But right now, here's the thing. When everybody was letting the money free flow, it was kind of like John Paul Jones when they're launching all of these shots from so far away. You're spending a lot of money or a lot of ammunition on getting a player or two, right? 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 Because, of course, everybody's, you know, it's scrambling. Everybody's trying to grab one. But the Cowboys have waited. They've waited. They've waited. They've waited. And now the enemy has spent most of that ammunition. It's been fired. Now your money can go a lot further. 
when you were talking about draft picks before the draft, there may have been more of a premium for what people wanted. Now teams are looking a little differently and saying, you know, we've got uh, a guy here who's on the last year of his deal. We got a young guy here who looks to be, you know, able to take his place. Maybe we make a trade and get rid of him, his salary, and get something back for him. So we're not losing anything. We're better in a cap situation, and we got a draft pick. Cowboys, they got a little bit, got a little bit of cheddar here, and um, they could use that along with some of their draft picks. I'm not saying that you know that that's the perfect situation. I know we all want to have the big splashes. But how many times have we seen the big splashes end up being belly flops? I remember, because I'm old enough to remember, that Washington had a really good defense. And they went out at the time and they got the best prospect as far as um, free agents in um, Albert Hainsworth, who was a menace in the middle. And it was thought to be that they get this guy. That defense is going to be unstoppable. Well, Albert Hainsworth signed a $100 million contract, played two years of it, got about $35 million of it, and didn't bust a grape. In fact, it was an absolute disgusting waste. Literally laid on the field while Michael Vick is just literally running circles around in the backfield. So sometimes it's not necessarily those big splashes that end up winning the Super Bowl. And I dare say that you don't necessarily see Kansas City making big splashes and things very often. In fact, the teams that spend the most in free agency, Washington and the Jets over the last five or six years, they ain't winning anything. So maybe... This is where the Cowboys kind of go all in. And as little as our money seems right now, I believe we all can. I think it's a safe bet that the Cowboys will get a C.D. Lamb deal done sometime between now and training camp, in which case they'll get about another 8 to $10 million. So you're looking at the Cowboys having $20-plus million plus that they could do this. So is it time for all in? Maybe. As the team most likely to completely ignore whatever its owner is saying, which is hilarious. Uh, Jerry Jones, of course, is saying they're all in. In reality, Bill, what is happening? Feels a little like they folded about March when it comes to their hand. This has not been an all-in team by any way this offseason. They've lost multiple starters on both sides of the football. Only two additions they've made so far are Eric Hendricks and Ezekiel Elliott, two players on the wrong side of 30. And the reason why they haven't spent so much money, why they haven't been all in, is because their star players are about to get massive raises. C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott are in the final year of their deals. Michael Parsons is eligible for an extension. Those guys are going to get massive massive races. On their last deals, they averaged about $48 million a year combined. Projections for these three guys on their new deals, 60, 35, 35, about $130 million combined for those three guys each year moving forward. So you're going to have to make up some of that money elsewhere. Cowboys facing that have had to make cutbacks this offseason, no matter what Jerry Jones has said about them being all in. When is that going to happen? It has been sluggish, and now they're in a huge bind with Dak Prescott, Jeremy. What's going on? It looks like they're all out on the spending, but they are all in on re-signing Dak Prescott. Eventually, they just haven't shown it yet, but I'm told behind the scenes they've made clear they don't want him to hit free agency in 2025. They want him to be the quarterback of the future, but their negotiation so far has been described to me as passive. So sometime this summer, they're going to have to ramp up the heat a little bit Come with a strong offer and get the ball going. But they made clear they're going to do that. They're just slow playing it a little bit. And you have some other quarterback a comps. That are, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> they have some quarterback comps coming in. Trevor Lawrence and Jacksonville will probably get done at some point. Two okay. in Miami. Yeah. Maybe they're sort of setting the stage for themselves. And meanwhile, CeeDee Lamb, you know, he can just sit back and watch and no see what kidding. happens. And 
And he'll get paid eventually. Yeah, for sure. Micah Parsons, he hasn't been at OTAs. I mean, yep. he's going to want his bag, too. All right. I have to hear this music one more time, please. So we have to talk about the Eagles <laughs> as we walk across the stage on NFL Live as the team with the most unlikely free agent signing of the season. That's what we're calling them in their proverbial yearbook as they have spent nearly $13 million on <laughs> Saquon Barkley. Why did you find this so surprising, Bill? <laughs> Howie Roseman is not someone who has spent historically at running back. Likes to draft guys, maybe trade for some players when they're relatively low on their value. Mm -hmm. Plenty of money spent elsewhere on this roster. But Howie Roseman chose to go out and get Saquon Barkley to upgrade the running game this offseason. And I think you have to kind of find some logical fits beyond just being a traditional running back. And Saquon Barkley can be that guy, right? Good in pass protection. He's an excellent receiver out of the backfield which is going to make Jalen Hurts' life easier. But I really think the place he could make a difference that no one's talking about right now is with the tush push. Jalen Hurts, the last couple years deep into the season, has dealt with injuries, has either missed time or been banged up with injuries. And part of that is taking hits in the quarterback run game and taking hits with the tush push. Saquon Barkley, another thick player, big physical. Can I think he might be a player who takes Can't some of those broke. tush push carries, helps keep Jalen Hurts fresh deep into the season in 2024. And part of the reason I think this move makes sense as well is losing DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift is now with the Bears. Talk about the Bears receivers. Look at their running game as well. And so now you have another dynamic running back, not just a guy who's going to get you three, four, or five yards, but can turn it into 50, 60, and 70 yards. So I love the move. I was surprised by it as well. But it's a great move by Philly getting a dynamic running back who could do it in the run game and the passing game, which takes some pressure off of Jalen Hurts. Well, Bill, you've got me envisioning Saquon on the tush push. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. You know, the Eagles have made the big splash, but they always make the big splash. And it still kind of bothers me, or it doesn't bother me. I, th I find it comical that the Eagles are pounding their chest after their failed season. Just don't understand it. All right, good people. As always, I appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. Peace out.